what's up y'all welcome back to another video i'm your boy jaybird aka mr cool guy come with you now with another album collection video and we're doing an album collection by eminem viewing on his my album collection that i got and i hope y'all enjoy this video because i'm gonna show you my eminem collection so enjoy Is a CD from 18 years ago when it was the year 2004 Encore. They got the best hits on here, such as Toy Soldiers, Puke, Just Lose It, Ass Like That, Mockingbird, Crazy in Love. They got all the hits on this record. A lot of critics and fans are saying that this was Eminem's worst album. I don't know if Eminem himself said that this was his worst album, but this can't be his worst album because it blew up the box charts and everything. And he got many nominees for this record. With all the comedy rap and all the serious rap coming together with this record. Him and Dr. Dre did good with it. You all tell me like if y'all like this album, is it one of his best? Please share. Second album, the Slim Shady LP. An album from 1999 that started career of Eminem when he first got signed to Dr. Dre's label at the map. This album is such a classic. I really enjoy the song My Name Is. That's a classic. And let's see what other songs are classic. Oh, yeah. Guilty Conscious, now that, that song is good, y'all. Y'all can tell me what y'all like about this album by Eminem. Y'all like that classic. It sucks it didn't go number one, though, but this album still sold millions. Can't get enough of this album with all the serious rap and comedy in here. Debut album. Encore, I mean, Infinite, my bad, y'all. I'm glad I got this from, from England. I ordered this offline. I didn't know if this is, is really the CD or a bullet copy, but let's take a look. So there's the CD right there of Infinite. Let's look on the back. Looks like a real CD to me. Doesn't look bootleg. They must have did. Eminem must have did re-release this on actual disc though. You know it was on cassette at first. But it's good I bought the real actual copy of Infinite. Yeah, I'm going to show you the booklet. See, a picture of Eminem right there. That's it. Got one picture of Eminem on this album. Infinite. say is that I'm glad I got my copy of Eminem's first debut album, Infinite. I heard every song on here. This album is such a classic. I think all the tracks are dope. You all can tell me what we all think of this debut album by Eminem that came out back in 1996. Revival. Now everybody said that this is the worst album that Eminem done when it was the year 2017. I had to take a couple years 
years off from doing music after he released it. The Martian Mass LP Part 2. But I don't think this album is bad. Every track on here is good, and I really feel the flow of this album. People just want to hate that Eminem still got it, even though he's a legend in the game. I say this album is a masterpiece, and it went number one. And I'm glad that Eminem proved that he still got what it takes to be a dope legend in the game, spinning them heavy bars and being a lyricist at what he do. You walk and tell them the way I think of this album. Is it one of his best or worst? Please share. Music to be murdered by Side B. This is just an extra copy of Music to be murdered by, but it's got other songs on here, which is tracks like Black Magic, Tone Deaf, Alfred's Theme, Book of Rhymes. Favorite Bitch, Guns Blasting, Nat, Hire, Them Demons, She Loves Me, Killer, Zeus, Discombobulated. And these, and the first diss are the previous songs from the other music to be murdered by. I like this deluxe edition better, featuring 16 songs that didn't make the actual cut. Glad he released the deluxe edition version. Y'all can tell me, yeah, like this one better than the other one. Now, this CD, Eminem 365. I don't know if this is an actual CD, but it looks like a, a bootleg copy. I don't know. Or it could be a mixtape. This could be a mixtape, because I know all these songs are Eminem tracks, though. Y'all can tell what y'all think. This album by Eminem, is it one? Is, y'all think this is a bootleg or an actual album? Please share. This is just a soundtrack from 8 Mile. Songs that were featured in the movie. That you can't see it so blurry. Yeah, that's what this is. More songs from A Mom. Just songs by other artists such as BIT, Mom D, Tupac, Outcast, Met the Man, Old Dirty Bastard, Wu Tang Clan, MC Bread, Naughty by Nature, like all them guys. These are all they tracks. This is the actual motion picture soundtrack of 8 Mile with songs like Lose Yourself by Eminem, 8 Mile, Obi Trice, Adrenaline Rush, 50 Cent, Place to Go, D12 Rap Game, Jay Z, 8 Miles, and Running. Exhibit, Macy Gray, Nas, 50 Cent, Boom Cat, Rakim, Young Z, Gangsta Star. Like, it got all the uh, best songs on here. I'm glad this record went number one 20 years ago when it was the year 2002 at the 8 Miles release. And that was the biggest sell in Hollywood hip-hop biofilm and I actually think Eminem did good with his role as B-Rabbit in the film and I'm glad this album is such a classic you know his song Lose Yourself that's his biggest hit that he ever written for the movie and it got plenty of nominees and went number one all over the charts so Y'all can tell me what y'all think of this soundtrack in the comments below. Is it one of y'all favorites? Well, I'm glad that it's still a classic to this day. Please share. Another CD by Eminem called Better Man, but I don't know. This could be a bootleg CD, y'all, but when I saw it online, I just got it. 
tell me what y'all think. This is this a bootleg or not, or not a real record? <laughs> Eminem third album, The Marsh Mass LP Part One. I'm glad I grew up on this CD. This CD is a classic. It's got all the hits on it, such as Stand, The Way I Am, The Real Slim Shady, I'm Back, Marshall Matters. Bitch, please, too, and criminal. He did good with all these tracks. I feel them all, and I'm glad that my brother got me into liking this record by Eminem. Such a classic. You all can tell me what we all think of this record in the comments below. Is it one of y'all favorites? Please share. <laughs> South Paul soundtrack. They got the song Phenomenal by Eminem, Kings Never Die by Eminem featuring Gwen Stefani, and let's see, um, Drama Never Ends by 50 Cent, All I Think About by Bad Meets Evil, yeah, we got a lot of hits on this soundtrack, y'all can tell me like we all think of the soundtrack in the comments below, y'all glad that it blew up the charts or not, please share. You know, Eminem's the executive producer. Okay. Soundtrack featuring all the shady artists, such as Eminem, 50 Cent, Obi Trice, Yellow Wolf, D12, Slaughterhouse, Royce the Five Nine. And they got the uh, sing off here, such as. Detroit vs. Everybody, featuring Royce the Five Nine, Eminem, Big Sean, Danny Brown, Def Loaf, and Trick or Tricker. They got a lot of hits on here. Y'all can tell me what y'all think of this. Y'all glad that Eminem released this record in 2014, I mean 2015. Please share. With all the shady artists that on here, including uh, Yellow Wolf. D12 World. I really enjoy this album, and I'm glad it's classic. <clears throat> and Eminem done this album like with D12. 18 years ago, and I really feel all the flow. My favorite song on here is My Band. Like all the comedy rap in that song, and it's a good track for the group. I don't know if they were dissing each other, or I don't know if they were disbanded, because Eminem was a better solo artist than them, but I don't know if the proof was alive when they did this album, and this album went up the charts and then went number one and you all can tell me like we all think this album D12 World is one of y'all favorites please share <clears throat> here's another classic by Eminem the Eminem show album that came out when it was the year 2002 and this has got like a bunch of banger hits on here such as White America Business Clean Out My Closet Without Me, Superman, Till I Collapse. I'm telling you, this album is such a classic. Eminem did good with this, making this album blow up the charts when it was 2002. Y'all can tell me what y'all think of that album. Here's the other music to be murdered by sound, I mean, album. Just all the music to be murdered by tracks such as Darkness and Godzilla, featuring the latest Juice World. Like I say, this album is fire. I'm glad I bought it to add to my Eminem collection. And you walk to tell me like how much I like this album. Music to be murdered by in the comments below. Relapse slash refill. This is deluxe edition of Relapse, but it's featuring like songs such as Forever by Drake, 
Hell breaks loose. Buffalo Bill elevator. Taking my ball. Music box. Drop the bomb on M. It's featuring the original tracks of Relapse, but it's good I bought this deluxe edition because it has songs that are supposed to be like the bonus tracks. I say Eminem did good with releasing the deluxe edition of this album. Here it is. Curtain called the hits. Got all the hits on this record, such as Fact. That's that was a uh, track for the album. My name is Stan. Lose yourself. Sing for the moment without me. Guilty conscience. Clean up my closet. Just lose it. The newest songs are When I Gone, Fact, Shake That, featuring Nate Dog, and I gotta say like Eminem did go this uh compilation album when it came out when it was the year 2005 and it blew up the charts it's still a classic compilation CD by Eminem y'all tell me what y'all like about this in the comments below here go the newest compilation CD that Eminem released called Curtain Call to the Hits this one is featured like hits from his previous albums such as Relapse, Recovery, The Martial Mask LP Part 2, Kamikaze, Revival, and Music to be Murdered by and featuring it. songs from like his soundtrack such as Sal Paul, the Elvis Presley bio, and songs from his group Bad Meets Evil. And he did a song with Yellow Wolf called Best Friend. And from the Venom Motion Picture soundtrack, I say this is a great sequel to the first uh, Curtain Call. Too bad it didn't go number one though, but he still did go with at least the part two edition of this one. You ought to tell me which one y'all like better, the first one or the second one. Relapse. Best seed that he released in 2010 to follow up on recovery, even though he didn't really feel recovery. This was like the best 2010 album he ever done with all the hits, such as I'm Not Afraid, Love the Way You Lie, No Love, Space Bound. Those are all the hits off of this record. This album went 10 times platinum and it blew up the charts when it was 2010, 11 years ago. Still known to be Eminem's best work after recovery. <sighs> Shoot. I meant relapse, y'all. My bad. This was the Eminem that he didn't like. He didn't like this album, Relapse, because all the comedy rap and all the accents on every track and everything he felt like this album was his worst though but I don't think this album was his worst all his fans loved it and I still like the album to this day even though Eminem didn't like his own record but you all can tell me like y'all yeah, think Relapse was the worst album that Eminem done 13 years ago and it was 2009 or not, please share. EP from him, him and Royce the Five Nine. Bad Meets Evil. Hell the sequel. This is the deluxe edition. It features like 11 tracks. My favorite tracks on this album is Fast Lane. Lighters featuring Bruno Mars. Take From Me. The Reunion, Above the Law, I'm on everything. The rest of the songs were dope, but those are my favorite songs on this uh, EP by Royce the Five Nine and Eminem, known as Bad Meets Evil. You are telling me what y'all like about this EP 
in the comments below. A CD he done for his shady artist called Eminem Presents The Real. With artists that were signing his label, Shady Records. I say this album is got a bunch of dope tracks on here. I don't know what tracks I feel, but I think the whole entire compilation CD is dope, and it's good that it went number one when it was the year 2006. Yeah, Eminem did good with uh, working with a lot of people on this record, and his artist that he had at the time, besides 50 Cent. You want to tell what y'all like about this compilation CD by Eminem. D12, Devils the Night. I really like this song. I mean, I really like this album, but The Devil's Night. That's, that's the title I don't like. Devil's Night. You know, Eminem is the executive producer of this album. It's good that it went number one, and they all did good with this record, and I give it that. You all can tell me what y'all think of it in the comments below. Here we go. The Marshmallows LP Part 2. This is the deluxe edition of this album. As you can see, it got all my favorite hits on here, such as Berserk, Rap God, The Monster, Survival, Headlights, yeah, the rest of the songs are dope, but those are the hits that I really feel on the record. And the bonus tracks, they tight as well, like Wicked Days, Groundhog Day, Depression, Baby, Beautiful Pain. Those songs are dope on the deluxe edition of this album. And I'm glad this album blew up the charts when it was like 2013. Him and them making a big combat to do a sequel to the first Martian Mass LP Part 1 CD. It's got like a lot of rock rap in this song and I really feel it. And some of the songs basically got comedy rap in it. And him and them just be doing what he doing when he release these type of records. Y'all can tell me what y'all think of it in the comments below. Here we go, Kamikaze. A surprise album Eminem done when it was the year 2018 after he released the revival. It's funny how I did not know he came back with another album at the revival. I thought he kind of gave up at the people who didn't like how that album didn't turn out. But it's good that he did an album where he uh, expressed how he really feel and he don't care what people think of him or what he say his music or how he diss people I guess like I said I like this album and Eminem done good with all 13 tracks I don't have specific tracks but I say all the tracks are dope y'all can tell me like we all like about Kamikaze in the comments below please share yep that's all the albums right there by Eminem and plus soundtracks that he was featured in Okay, let's organize these. Okay, put that there.
as you can see. It's the whole MDL collection. I've been a fan of Eminem since I was eight years old, and I'm glad my big brother got me into liking uh, the first ever record I heard by Eminem called the Slip Shade LP, and the second record I heard was the Martian Mass LP, and I started hearing songs from like his other albums, such as the Eminem Show, Encore. And then I heard one song from Relapse, such as We Made You. Then I started paying attention to all the other records he put out. I didn't really pay attention to them, uh, to Infinite, but when I did my research, I got to hear it online. So, yep. All the full Eminem collection is right here, y'all. This is your boy J Bird, aka Mr. Cool Guy, coming to you again with another my album collection review. And I hope you all enjoy my collection of Eminem CDs that I got.